Bullets fly near the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Tourists ducking and a rap artist was hit and seriously injured. Tonight, police say an ugly rivalry may be behind that shooting. Another rapper, Young Dolph, in critical condition, shot several times in the body, and police say they have hotel security video they're now looking over. I was born in Chicago. But yeah, Memphis, I Memphis, like, Memphis, Memphis raised me. Go back to Chicago for the summer, and it's like certain little different stuff to go kick and holler at my fam, but everything I ever did, bro, like the streets of Memphis is what made me what I am. The story of Young Dolph's life was formed on the streets of Memphis, Tennessee. Almost every store, every block, and every corner on the streets of Memphis had a thing or two to say about the rapper, about his unfortunate passing in 2021. Despite the pains of his passing, his family and loved ones have come to take solace in the last few hours, Young Dolph spent on the streets of Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah, I know what it is. Goddamn, it's your boy, Young Dolph. Could have went to the studio or downtown. You know what I'm saying? I'm showing y'all where it really come from. Where it really came from. Adolph Robert Thornton Jr., who has come to be known to the world by his stage name, Young Dolph, was born on the south side of Chicago, Illinois. At only two years old, his parents moved from Chicago to Memphis, Tennessee, where he grew up in the notoriously known Castalia Heights neighborhood in South Memphis. Memphis. Life in the streets of Memphis for young Dolph. Saw him grow up around a lot of drugs and alcohol. He had to be raised by his grandmother, Ida May, because his parents were gravely affected by the hard drug situation that surrounded his neighborhood. She prepared for the for life and got to where I'm at. Like real talk. My grandma influenced me so hard, my little boy can sit and tell you about a lot of while they battled hard drug addictions, they only got to see their son every few weeks. Like my mom and dad, like they 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 street, you know what I'm saying? Like by the time I came around, they had kids, all that. Like they, they life was in a whole nother direction. They probably, they wasn't even on my mind. Like everybody looked down on drug addicts. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody in this room probably used to be young, but like, oh damn. So then bam, you got somebody that's like this and they have kids around the neighborhood and everybody, the whole neighborhood know you from all your mom and daddy, like they been, they on, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. they on, you feel what I'm saying? versus, you know what I mean, like me and my situation. However, young Dolph never allowed the vices of his surroundings to affect him as a person. With his grandmother on his side, he could not afford to look to the ways of the streets of Memphis. He didn't go like that, you know what I'm saying? Like I made everybody respect me, my mom and dad, to all the way to right now, you know what I mean? Like I just, I turned it to 360, you know what I mean? It was supposed to happen and didn't happen. While talking about his upbringing under the wings of his grandmother, young Dolph described her as the meanest mother in the world. Young Dolph revealed that his grandmother raised him to be independent and didn't entertain street behavior in her home, such as gang activities, drugs and alcohol, and even friends, whether they were good or bad. He revealed that he wasn't allowed to bring his friends home, except they were homeless. We ain't gotta be friends. We ain't, we ain't got, I ain't no friends. <laughs> yeah, ain't even, ain't, ain't I'm friends. just saying. Yeah. Friends do, not even Man, exist. I don't know how to spell it. I don't know. How to, I don't know nothing about a friend. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, sadly, Ida May, who shaped Young Dolph into the man he was, passed away in October of 2008. The same year marked Young Dolph's entry into the music industry. He may have had a passion for music, but Young Dolph never dreamt of becoming a rapper. After constant encouragement from his friends, Young Dolph decided to go into the rap industry and release his first mixtape, Paper Route Campaign, in 2008. The mixtape turned out to be successful on the streets of Memphis, and this encouraged Young Dolph to invest fully in the rap industry. The year 20. 2010 marked his second year in the rap industry, as well as the year he decided to establish his own independent record label, Paper Route Empire, which released his first mainstream mixtape, Welcome to Dolph World, that same year. What's your situation like right now? Well, I'm all independent, like from everything. It's just I've been always independent. I ain't never signed to no record label, none of that. Hey, what's poppin'? This is the kid, Young Dolph. Right now we're rock and rollin' with hip hop since 1987. Salute. Young Dolph continued to grow in the rap industry, and by the following year, he released two other mixtapes, High Class Street Music and High Class Street Music 2. In the years that followed, he continued to release other projects, and he even worked alongside other artists. On March 15th, 2013, he released the collaborative mixtape East Atlanta Memphis with Gucci Mane. By the year 2016, Young Dolph had expanded on a larger scale, and it was time for him to release an album. His debut album, King of Memphis, was released under his independent Paper Route Empire record label, but the album's title 
title didn't sit well with many Memphis rappers. Rappers Yo Gotti and Black Youngster took it upon themselves to express their dislike for Young Dolph's album, creating one of the greatest rivalries ever in the Memphis rap scene. The rivalry between Young Dolph and these rappers became so intense that when he passed away in November 2021, they were accused of being responsible for his murder. During the Thanksgiving of 2021, there wasn't much to be thankful for in the city of Memphis, as Young Dolph, one of the greatest rappers in the city, lost his life after being attacked by hitmen. We strongly encourage everyone to stay home if you do not have to be out. The Memphis police chief is asking everyone to stay home tonight after rapper Young Dolph is gunned down and killed at a South Memphis cookie shop. We are sure to give you quality stories straight from our insider sources on the streets of major rap cities. Just make sure to subscribe and stay tuned to Rap Hive to get firsthand information. According to his cousin, Moreno Myers, Young Dolph visited the city to spend Thanksgiving with his family, but that wasn't all he had to do in the city of Memphis during that fateful Thanksgiving. His last few hours in the city have made his tragic passing even more heartbreaking. Speaking about the last few hours of Young Dolph, who passed away on November 17, 2021, his cousin Moreno Myers revealed that Young Dolph had come to Memphis on November 11th as he had a couple of things he had to do in the city before Thanksgiving. According to Moreno Myers, Young Dolph came in early to see his aunt, who had cancer, as well as give out charity to families for Thanksgiving. I got a aunt, my aunt, she's currently here. Like she has cancer. My grandmother had cancer. My uncle had cancer. And they all came through these doors. And I just wanted to, I just wanted to show up and just really thank them for what they do. Cause it's, it ain't an easy job. It's kind of hard, you know what I mean? Just seeing people in those conditions, like some people be more down than others. I decided to visit West Cancer Center, the clinic today, just to show my appreciation for like over the years. I had several family members to come through here and been patients of this clinic. So I just really wanted to show up and show them my support. On getting to Memphis on November 15th, Young Dolph stopped by the West Cancer Center in the Memphis suburb of Germantown. Young Dolph spent some time with clinical staff and thank them for the compassionate care they had given to his aunt who visited the center for treatment. I decided to visit West Cancer Center, the clinic today, just to show my appreciation for like over the years. I had several family members to come through here and been patients of this clinic. So I just really wanted to show up and show them my support. Merino also revealed that Young Dolph also planned on sharing Thanksgiving turkeys with homeless people in the community, which he does every year. Young Dolph had a charitable entity, Ida Mae Foundation, which he named after his grandmother. Every year during Thanksgiving, Young Dolph used his foundation to give out charity to the people of Memphis. The rapper made it a Thanksgiving tradition to give out turkeys to families every year. During the Thanksgiving of 2021, Young Dolph prepared to give out the turkey on November 17th, but all of that was cut short after he was hit while trying to purchase cookies. He was inside Makita's and somebody just rolled up on him and took his life, Meyer said. However, even after he passed, Young Dolph's label, Paper Route Empire, and the foundation distributed 400 turkeys at St. James Baptist church just as the rapper had planned tell you the truth we weren't going to go through with it at first said brandon one of young dolph's associates known as b dolph would have wanted us to go ahead because he already planned it he said this year we gave out turkeys in four different locations we did 250 in one place and 250 in another place he had his church st james we're giving out 400 turkeys on november 11th 2021 the very day young dolph went into town he stopped by his favorite bakery makita's homemade cookies where he enjoyed buying all of his baked goods the store posted a video of young dolph to their instagram page where he was seen promoting the cookies he had bought from them on that day. Being his favorite cookie store in the city, it was no surprise that Young Dolph returned to Makita's homemade cookie store to get some cookies for a charity event. But unknown to Young Dolph, he would never walk out of the store again. It was about 12 p.m. on that fateful day of November 17th, 2021. When Young Dolph walked into Makita's store to pick up the cookies he was to take with him to his charity event, set to hold later that day. Sadly, while he was standing in the store, two men drove into the store's parking lot in a two-door Mercedes Benz. This grainy photo released by police shows a person in gray pants and a dark hoodie with gun in hand, apparently firing. Also released a photo of a white car that may be linked to the case. The young men walked out of their vehicles and immediately opened fire at the store, firing their weapons across the glass doors of the store and hitting anyone who stood in their way of their prime target, Young Duff. This is what police officers have been combing through throughout the day. You can see a bullet hole right here in the glass right there. And 
this is the evidence police have combed through. They're gathering evidence. They're calling on people to remain calm and let them do their job. It was about 4 p.m. on that fateful day when the Memphis Police Department revealed that the victim of the tragic incident was rapper Young Dolph, who had already passed away on the scene by the time paramedics arrived. Breaking the news, the police statement read, Our hearts go out to the Thornton family and all who are affected by this horrific act of violence. The hours that followed after Young Dolph passed will forever be remembered in the city of Memphis. Fans and well-wishers swarmed the scene of Young Dolph's passing for hours. You would go? Yeah, all I heard was doom, 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 and when I looked to the door, and he would let loose at them, and they was already had, already shot up in there. Despite the heavy police presence, people still made their way to the area until a curfew was enforced in the city in order to prevent violent and civil unrest. Councilman J.B. Smiley, he mentioned that he would like to see a curfew. We asked the police chief about that, and here's what she has to say. However, that did not stop violence from occurring across the city of Memphis after Young Dolph passed. In fact, it was revealed that more than five people were murdered after Young Dolph was taken out. A series of hits happened in the city after Young Dolph passed away, but only one of them stuck out to the authorities and the general public. A man named Darian D. Money Childs, a Memphis comedian, was taken out after making a mockery of Young Dolph's tragic passing. Today, Memphis police identified the victim as Darian Childs. Barry G's Jordan James explains why some are linking his death to the death of Young Dolph and how his family is responding. We like Marlon and Mike. What? When he fight, I fight. It's this video of Darian Childs that captivated the hearts of millions. After the passing of Young Dolph was announced on social media, Darian shared the following statement on his Facebook page. If the news don't post me as a Memphis legend when I die, then they hate it. But he didn't stop there. He continued. Man, them folks just kill Young Dolph. I love Memphis because we so gangster. Man, because if you ain't from Memphis or if you ain't the police, just quit trying to solve Young Dolph murder. These folks that came and locked my GMA up. In a series of Facebook posts, Childs questioned the outrage that people are feeling about the death of Dolph. His sister, Samicia Mason, says his words were taken out of context. A couple of hours after Darion made this post, he was gunned down. Many believe that he was taken out because of the jokes about Young Dolph's passing. They believe it was a retaliation of some sort for disrespecting the name of the Memphis legend, Young Dolph. Several theories surrounding the passing of Young Dolph began to swarm the internet just a few hours after the tragedy struck. While some argued that it was a result of gang affiliations, others referred to his previous gun incidents and hinted that his beef with rapper Yo Gotti may have played a major role in his passing. With both rappers being from Memphis, one would expect that Yo Gotti and Young Dolph start off right when they got into the rap industry, but this wasn't the case. Was there ever a point in time where like you, you like respected Gotti as an artist coming out of Memphis? Because obviously, he, I know he kicked a lot of a lot of doors down for a lot of people in Memphis. Never, never, <laughs> not even a little bit. Huh. He said never. The rivalry between the two rappers intensified when Young Dolph refused to do a collaboration with Yo Gotti and signed with his record label in 2014. Yo Gotti was one of the first ones. He might been the first one to come like, man, dog, let's do a paper route in CMG. Mm. But at the same time, I couldn't do it because I had too much of my own money and too much of my own time invested into it. In an interview, Young Dolph revealed that he would rather see his own investment in himself through than latch onto another artist's record label. And I just, on independent, that's my thing. That's how it came in, you know. It's, 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 you know, when you get to pop and you get to doing your thing, it don't make sense for you to go and sign and hurry up. I'm finna, nah, let me, let me enjoy this money right quick. He also claimed that Yo Gotti picked the fence over his refusal to join CMG. Young Dolph's refusal to come under Yo Gotti built a rivalry between the two, and they didn't become vocal about their dislike for each other until 2016. In the year 2016, Young Dolph called out Yo Gotti on one tweet where he tweeted, Bro, went from being my number one fan and one to sign me to being my biggest hater. Although he didn't outrightly call out to Yo Gotti, the situation between them at the time raised suspicions that he might have been referring to Yo Gotti. The release of Young Dolph's debut album, King of Memphis, in 2016, 2016 made the decision between the rappers even more heated, as Yo Gotti had always addressed himself as the King of Memphis prior to the release of Young Dolph's debut album. When another told me that another the King of Memphis, I was like, what? Although Yo Gotti never said a word about it, Young Dolph went on an interview where he claimed that it was never his intention to diss Yo Gotti with his album title. If you pay attention, it always been a, a, a artist at the city saying, I'm the King of Memphis, I'm the King of Memphis. That's why it done been so hard for other artists to pop out and take off because everybody want to be that I. The big one just is just me. You know what I mean? But 
I ain't, I ain't got nothing to do with that. I named my CD King of Memphis, not mm -hmm. the King of Memphis. Like, all of my partners came. The rivalry between both rappers intensified after Young Dolph put out a song titled Play With Yo, where he dissed Yo Gotti by implying that he had an affair with the mother of Yo Gotti's child. Yo Gotti responded to his diss track by releasing a record of his own, Don't Beef With Me, where he attacked Young Dolph and sent him a warning shot. The beef between rappers Yo Gotti and Young Dolph had been highlighted as one of the greatest rivalries in all of Memphis rap history, and it became linked to Young Dolph's murder after fans recounted the previous attempts that had been made on Young Dolph's life. In the year 2017, Young Dolph was attacked twice while he escaped bullet wounds during the first incident he wasn't so lucky the second time they tried to pull a move they tried to get me in the car you know what i'm saying like you like everybody see that my haters is bigger than life you know what i'm saying but if you think i'm finna go out like parking biggie you must be stupid you know what i'm saying like this 2017 on the fateful night of February 25th, 2017, Young Dolph happened to grace the city of Charlotte, North Carolina, for the Central Intercollegiate Athletic Association, CIAA, tournament weekend when tragedy struck. A rapper survives a shooting attack during CIAA weekend, and now he's addressing the violence with a mixtape. Last month, 100 shots were fired in the heart of Uptown Charlotte. It was reported a shootout between two out-of-town rappers, and if there's any question about the new album being a response to the shooting, Look no further than the cover art here. You can see the rapper standing in front of a black SUV with hundreds of shell casings at his feet. At approximately 6.30 p.m. on that day, Young Dolph was driving in his SUV through the intersection of 8th and North Caldwell Street near an apartment complex when bullets rang in the air. What is a bulletproof vet? Is a bulletproof vehicle? Yeah, bulletproof, yeah, bulletproof vehicle. Yeah, he said the truck bulletproof. Yeah, they shot. They still shot, though. Oh, they shot at what say, oh. According to reports, over 100 bullets were fired into Young Dolph's SUV on that day. Luckily for him, his vehicle was bulletproof and he managed to escape from the incident unscathed. We was headed to where we was headed to. They started shooting, they shot, they shot, they shot. I had another party to go to that night. After the incident, Young Dolph made a post to his Twitter saying, you loose, before going on to perform at Charlotte's Cameo nightclub later that night. At the club that night, Young Dolph performed his diss track for Yo Gotti, Play With Yo. In an interview, he referred to himself as his alter ego, Dolph Obama, before claiming that his haters had attacked him that night. But he was saved by the $300,000 he spent to turn his SUV into a bulletproof vehicle. But why would yeah. they want to take off the Dolph, of Gaba Dolph Wait, Obama? Obama, yeah. Because, like, he in this real good high position and this good place where he at and in his career. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He's black, he's self-made, he, self he became a millionaire. He from the hood, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And he got something going on. Also though, about having a bulletproof car, that means that's some shit though, for reals. What that mean? That just means you're ready for war. How much does a bulletproof car cost? 300,000. How, did you really spend $300,000 on that bulletproof truck in, in Charlotte? I spent more money than that on a bulletproof vehicle. So was that your truck, or did you re like? Let's talk about something. I don't even want to talk about Charlotte. In 2017, one of Yo Gotti's closest associates, Memphis rapper Black Youngster, was arrested in connection to the North Carolina incident where Young Dolph was attacked, as he was accused of having been involved in the crossfire, which also claimed Young Dolph's life in February of that year. Benson's attorney says the rapper turned himself in today because police found a van that was involved in the shooting. The attorney tells Channel 9. Benson rented the van, but then it was stolen from him. It's obviously somebody right, somebody snitching. Black Youngster, an artist signed under Yo Gotti's CMG record label, had issues with Young Dolph over the title of his album, King of Memphis. Just like Yo Gotti, Black Youngster continued to attack Young Dolph and even openly called him out on social media. Black Youngster once made a post where he said, Dolph, you a soft, you a soft. If you got a problem, say you got a problem. You ain't even no King of Memphis. He ain't from the city. When I see that, hey, Young Dolph, I'ma smack the Adam, on my life. Black Youngster and Young Dolph will continue to fuel their rivalry until Black Youngster took it up another level. Where we at right now, cuz? Where he at? 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 Where he
Armed with heavy weapons, Mac 11, Smith and Wessons, extended clips, and over a hundred rounds of bullets, Black Youngster, alongside his gang members, marched through the streets of South Memphis, looking to take out Young Dolph, simply because he claimed he was the king of Memphis. Luckily for Young Dolph, the police were called on that fateful day, and this stopped the violence. What was the whole purpose? Because you had put out a video where you went into Young Dolph's hood with a bunch of other dudes. Yeah. Like, what was the meaning behind that? I was trying to pull up and smack that on. I'm the type of person like, bro, I don't know, I, 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 if I get a cow, if I'm beefing with you, and I get a cow, I just saw homie. I'm pulling right up, you know what I'm saying? These actions set a lot of eyes on Black Youngster, who became a person of interest. Black Youngster, however, claimed that the attention of the authorities didn't put Young Dolph off his scent, but only the advice from Yo Gotti himself. He claimed that he no longer wanted to fight with Young Dolph because Yo Gotti advised him not to. So, you know, I don't know how homie feel, but I know me personally, I'm not on it, bro. I'm sad me for to the deal. And I'm rocking it, CMG for life, I'm dying about this. I ain't got no problem, homie. I'm getting my money, homie, getting the other, and did on it. And one thing I don't do, I don't try to sugar cold. You know how the label be trying to, nah, don't, don't go too hard, harsh. But nah, I don't give a f about no label. Tell me nothing, bro. I'm telling you what I, from my heart, bro. I ain't got nothing, I ain't got nothing against homie. I ain't on it. But that didn't get Young Dolph to be on his side either. And Young Dolph wasn't wrong to distrust him in August 2020. Black Youngster went back on his words after sharing a video showing him firing a weapon out of a moving vehicle. But that wasn't the only interesting fact about that video. Black Youngster went on to tag Young Dolph on the video saying, Hey Young Dolph, will my gang gonna get your sh sh Investigations, however, showed that Black Youngster and some of his associates were involved in the attack on Young Dolph's life in February 2017. The history of their rivalry wasn't very favorable for Black Youngster. Black Youngster and the people he was with on the night of the attack were each charged with six counts of discharging a weapon into an occupied dwelling or moving vehicle in felony conspiracy, according to the arrest records. Although Black Youngster took the fall for this incident, Yogati was, however, linked with the next attack on Young Dolph's life. Each suspect charged with six counts of discharging a weapon into an occupied dwelling or a moving vehicle and also one count of conspiracy. Police say the charges are based not on the number of rounds but on how many apartments and vehicles were hit. Police sources say they recovered two vehicles that were shot up and one defense attorney told me his client had a van but wasn't involved in the shooting. Mr. Benson rented the van. In September of 2017, Young Dolph was attacked again and sadly this time he sustained grave injuries. Young Dolph had visited the Lowe's Hollywood Hotel in Los Angeles just a little after the summer of that year, on the 27th of that fateful month. Young Dolph stepped out of his hotel to run quick errands around the city when three men picked a fight with him. Bullets fly near the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Tourists ducking and a rap artist was hit and seriously injured. Tonight, police say an ugly rivalry may be behind that shooting. Another rapper, Young Dolph, in critical condition, shot several times in the body, and police say they have hotel security video they're now looking over. Detectives looking into the possibility of bad blood between rival rappers. These men were identified as members of Yo Gotti's entourage, as it would happen that Yo Gotti was also lodged in the very same hotel that period. The altercation between Young Dolph and the three men escalated as one of them got trigger happy and fired his weapon at Young Dolph. Running into a nearby shoe store, Young Dolph was able to take cover, but not before getting hit by the weapon. He was hospitalized after the event, but luckily for him, he survived. Hey, we are in the hospital, Jack. Yeah, you know I mean, y'all know what time it is. Right here, don't stop. Legendary. Shout out to Pop. Shout out to Easy E. Shout out to Big. You know what I mean? The men involved were arrested and charged with firing a weapon at Young Dolph. It was at this point that it became clear that these men were working with Yo Gotti. However, Yo Gotti himself was not arrested regarding this event. The LAPD now wants to talk with rapper Yo Gotti following a shooting in front of Lowe's Hotel in Hollywood. Another rapper, Young Dolph, in critical condition, shot several times in the body, and police say they have hotel security video they're now looking over. In the video, uh, an individual produces a gun a suspect and he fires toward the individual who was shot. Detectives looking into the possibility of bad blood between rival rappers. Several months ago in North Carolina, Young Dolph's SUV was shot at 100 times, but he wasn't in it. With all of these attacks on Young Dolph's life, these men, Yo Gotti and Black Youngster, were considered the prime suspects in Young Dolph's final hit, but police evidence was never able to link them to his murder. Would it be surprising if these men had played a major role in getting Young Dolph taken out?